Hey guys, it's me Zell, and we are here with a reaction video of the trailer Tales of the Jedi. I know this is late, but I haven't seen it yet. I held off and then I got busy and I hadn't had a time to watch it. So I thought I'd record my reaction to seeing it. Some folks have asked about it. Um, right now I'm waiting for Andor to release, so might as well get my tear ducts going. We'll see. But uh, yeah, so we're going to check out Tales of the Jedi, the official trailer. So let's see what it's about. Everywhere there is life, but you must face death. I'm loving the animation of it. Oh, I mean, I already love the animation of it. Ooh. The best way I can protect you is to tell <gasps> you oh, it's like a crispy Clone Wars art. I want to bring peace and order to the galaxy. Oh, that's definitely Qui Gon. And Mace. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Ooh. Again. Dooku. Stand down. I'm tired of fighting. Oh, Rexy. I've been warning. Obi looks interesting. Oh my gosh. And who might you be? Who might you be? I didn't see Plo Koon though. That makes me disappointed. Well, okay. Well, there we have it. Um, I... Hey guys, oh, piss! Anyways, wow. That looks really good. The animation looks really crisp and pristine. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm someone that hasn't been super interested in Dooku, but that's not to say that he's not an interesting character. And the more information we get about him, the more intriguing it'd be. I actually liked him a bit more after reading Master and Apprentice, I believe. Touched on it a little bit. Of Qui-Gon's background and I got part way through Dooku something one of those books but yes it's very interesting obviously Ahsoka's story will be fun it'll be interesting to see it's like clearly during the same time period so just seeing a different perspective I'm excited hopefully to see her beginning journey. I didn't see any Plo Koon there. Maybe I missed it, but I love Plo Koon and we know that Plo Koon is the one that went and got her. So hoping for that. Love seeing Mace Windu. I forgot that Dooku trained, trained Mace Windu, I'm assuming, and Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's one of my favorite Jedi. And Mace Windu is a very, I feel, misunderstood. He wasn't somebody we got to know a lot about from the movies. And even a lot of the Clone Wars, he was kind of a little bit more, you didn't get much depth there. But then there was just a couple episodes that kind of highlighted who he was. And it makes me very intrigued to know more because he's way more of a pacifist than you would think with how serious he takes his role as a Jedi. I mean, Jedi, almost represent a form of pacifism in the way but just it was just wonderfully made me excited so either way i'm excited i wasn't obviously anticipating this show and then to kind of get this more background again i love deeper concept deeper character development back round of characters so we're gonna get looks like dooku mace windu Qui-Gon and Ahsoka and Anakin's relationship, it looks like. Um, the Inquisitor, so it said, is that supposed to suggest a new character or is that supposed to be what's his butt that I'm spacing? Hello? Anyways, you know who I'm talking about. The guy who collects all the lightsabers. I know who it is, my brain's spacing. 
yeah, either way, it looks beautiful. Oh, not to mention, I don't know if that was Yoda with hair or if that was Yaddle, Yaddle, or a different Yaddle. I don't know, but it looks really cool. So anyways, that's exciting and I can't wait. So when that drops, we'll be watching and reacting and I hope to see you there. So on that note, see you next time.